Hello all and welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. Today we are going to see another interesting problem. So the question is we need to find the total money given by the lottery team to the users. So I hope you all know how a lottery system works. So what happens uh, initially users uh, buy some tickets from the lottery, lottery team and on a particular day a lottery team announces the winning numbers. So here we have the list of winning numbers which are picked up by the lottery team and also the list of tickets which each user has bought okay and the conditions are suppose if the ticket if the number of tickets which uh, user has bought is greater than or equal to 4 i mean if the uh, the number of tickets which user has won is greater than or equal to 4 then it is 100 dollars if the user has won more th greater than or equal to 2 tickets um, then he will get 50 dollars and if the user has won greater than or equal to 0 tickets he will get 10 dollars so if you see here user id a uh, person a he has, uh, he has bought 5 tickets, 25, 45, 78, 91 and 100 and uh, the winning numbers are 25, 45, 78 and 91, four, four, 4 numbers are there and he has won all the 4 numbers. So here the first condition will suffice that is $100 will be given to the user and for B he has, uh, he has bought 25, 45, 98 and 91 and only three, three, 3 winning numbers are there, 25, 45 and 91. So greater than 2 but, but less than uh, 4. So he will win $50. And for C only 91 is there because only 91 is there that is why greater than 0 and $10. So the output should be uh, the total money given by the lottery team to the users. So how much money it cost the lottery team that is 100 plus 50 plus 10 that is $160. So with this with all these input tables. The, out, the your final uh, SQL uh, query should return $160 as the output. So hope you all understand the question. Uh, Let us go back to SQL Server Studio and see how we can solve this. So I already have the um, uh, tables created. Uh, so the tables are uh, winning numbers which, all, which contains all the winning numbers and the winning amount, uh, the rules uh, with, the, with the number of amount and the ticket, uh, ticket count based on the ticket count and tickets which that is the user id and the uh, ticket number he has purchased okay so for this first what we'll do we'll do we'll see the number of uh, tickets which with uh, each user has purchased so select user id comma count of 1 as cnt from tickets t group by user id so this will give you the number of tickets uh, with each uh, user has uh, bought. So for time being, let us keep this in a CTE. Okay. And now let us create one more CTE too. So in this CTE, we will see the number of tickets uh, which um, each user has won. So that means to find the number of tickets which each user has won, I will have to select uh, from tickets t inner join i will have to uh, join with the winning numbers w on t dot number is equal to w dot number so now we will get t dot user id comma count of so without this first let us see uh, what we are getting in this uh, select query so if you see uh, this join is returning us the uh, count of or the numbers which each user had which each user has won so now we'll do t dot user id comma count of t dot number as cnt i'll keep this as cnt group by t dot user id so now if i run this what are we getting we are getting the number of tickets won by each user okay so now uh, since we got this what we have to do select from ct to ct uh, left join so now we have got the number of tickets now we need to see how much we need to assign the amount of money or the money to each user so to assign that what we will have to do we will have to join with this winning amount so select uh, ct left join winning amount w on let's for time being keep one is equal to one so I don't want to join on anything. I'll just write a select star and see how we, how we are getting. Uh, 
okay so for time being just let's see what we are getting here so user id uh, so if you see two two tables are there so user id four user id a has four tickets and uh, we, since we have not we have just joined a one equal to one that's basically we are doing a cross join so basically a user id is map uh, is mapped to all the uh, entries in the tick winning amount table four two and zero so now what i'll do i'll write a case statement i'll in this he'll write um ct dot cnt greater than or equal to w dot ticket count so because a, since user id uh, uh, a has won four tickets and here greater than four greater than or equal to four means hundred dollars so i'll write four greater than or is equal to four so hundred dollars should be assigned and similarly for b three is not greater than or equal to four so this row will be ignored and but three is greater than or equal to two so fifty dollars will be assigned and similarly for c one is not greater than or equal to four so this this will be ignored and similarly one is not greater than or equal to two so this will be ignored but one is greater than or equal to zero so ten this will be shown so that's why i have written in the on condition ct dot count is greater than or equal to ticket dot count so now uh, i'll just uh, run this query so yeah if you see uh, user id a has four and uh, all three conditions are coming and for c two conditions are coming and for uh, for b two conditions are coming and for c one condition is coming but we want only the one condition that is the highest amount so now what i'll do uh, ct dot star comma i'll create a row number row number over partition by ct dot user id order by amount in descending order as rn i'll keep this column name as rn so now if i run this what are we getting so yeah we are getting uh, okay i'll let's keep uh, amount column as so uh, ct dot star comma w dot amount so i'll keep amount column also so that we will understand how much we are getting so for a you uh, for rank 1 a is hundred dollars, and for B rank one is fifty dollars, and for C rank one is ten dollars. So now we'll filter out uh, this entire data set uh, using the filter condition R n is equal to one. So uh, can we write this row number uh, condition in the where condition? Uh, this row number uh, clause or the statement in the where condition? Let's see. So if I keep this like this, will it work? it will not work because window functions can only appear in the select or order by clause so for this what i'll do i'll create one more ct comma ct3 as this okay now select star from ct3 where rn is equal to 1 so if i use select star from ct3 uh, what what are we getting so yeah so now if you see uh, user id a has hundred dollars user id b has fifty dollars and user id c has ten dollars so now what we want we just want the total amount so i'll just write simply sum of amount so if i just write the sum of amount this will give me the total uh, amount which has to be given by lottery team to the, all the users which is 160 dollars as lottery amount so I'll just write this query. So simple 160. Is it matching with the output we have? Yeah, it's matching. So yeah, this is the uh, final SQL query. So if you see here, this particular CTH I have created earlier, this is not required. So you can directly remove this CT because we are not using it anywhere. So I'll just write, uh, I'll just uh, remove the unnecessary CTs and this is the output. So hope you all like this problem and also the solution. Uh, if you have any other better solution or interesting solution, please post it in the comments. And you can find the DML script in the description of this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.